Well, I think the biggest risk of opening any business is is just taking that leap to actually do it. Um, you know, when when I first had the idea to do this, uh, you know, I actually was uh, working it as a chef for Westfield. So, um, you know, for me at the time, the biggest risk was kind of leaving that safety net and and going out on my own and knowing that now I have to make it. Just taking that leap and actually being able to move forward and do it um, was was by far the biggest risk that that I took. We we just turned six years old this year uh, in the midst of all of. Uh, this lovely pandemic that we're dealing with, um, but uh, I, you know, I think that that in and of itself is is just uh, kind of the biggest success for for me. We've been able to kind of move and adapt and grow uh, and become, you know, bigger every year. People have come to us for you know experience and uh, you know sit down, enjoy your meal, uh, you know, a normal dining experience, and we're really able to adapt and change. And I think. You know, that, that puts us in a position to be competitive when we need to be, wherever we need to be. Wow. I feel like we go above and beyond every day for for customers in general. Um, every day if somebody comes in that has, you know, I, I have an allergy to this or, um, you know, I'm allergic to that and, you know, I can't do dairy, uh, whatever it is. Um, you know, I'm having a baby shower and I want it to be special. Uh, you know, we do... We do that every day, and I think that kind of, I, I, I can maybe tie that back to that competitive edge as well. When you think about community, um, and you think about a neighborhood, um, you think about the people that live there, uh, and giving them something to be a part of. Um, but you know, when we started 111 Bistro, it wasn't necessarily um, about us. It was, yeah, we had things we wanted to do, we had food we wanted to prepare, um, you know, a level of service that we wanted to give. but. You know, in the end, we wanted to provide a place where people felt comfortable, um, where they were in an inviting atmosphere where they could come back. And it was a place that they would want to come back to over and over. And, and that's what makes it special when we come into work. I just would like to um, thank the Cavs and, and Westfield uh, both for uh, giving us, you know, this, this great honor and opportunity opportunity um, you know when, when we put our application in uh, you know this was something that you know we just we never thought we would actually win um, and, and just very humbled to be a part of you know this series and to be in the company of everybody else that has shared their stories um, it, it is really it's really humbling and, it, and it, um, it means a lot to us and we're very appreciative of this opportunity hi my name is Anthony Scalaro with 111 Bistro we're this month's uh, Small Business Spotlight winner, championed by Westfield. And, um, you know, we're happy to be uh, a part of this and, and check back through the rest of the season and, and see the rest of the winners and their stories as well.